Cagney and Lacey. They canceled it three times. I mean, it's a wonder they didn't try and kill him with a stick. What is their problem? Because we gotta seem in charge. We gotta seem like we can handle everything ourselves. Like a normal family, or else they have an excuse to split us up. Well, again, not if we're working together. Now, what makes you think that I would want to work with you? I want to be your friend. Christy Huddleston, who are you? I wish I knew. She black girl just gave you your Cheyenne name. Medicine woman. Welcome to the Viewer's Voice Show. Hi, I'm Sharon Rohde, and we're over in Chicago tonight to do a special show on a movie called Hannah Free. Um, people all right now are over at a screening for the movie, and uh, afterwards we hope to do some interviews with some of the stars. Uh, this is a very special uh, movie, and it has a very important message. Uh, so stay tuned, and we'll be back in a minute. Do you really want me to be a boy? No. You like that one? Don't do that. Every once in a while, you just had to leave me. You knew I'd be wild for you when you finally got back. You always thought we were the only girls who did what we did. Whenever and wherever we could. Have you ever been married? Not to a man. The nurse said you've been wanting to see Mom. Well, we can't have you upsetting her. Upsetting? When have I ever upset your mother? All her life. Well, if that's the truth, it was her choice. Make sure you're not doing it again. Screwing things up between Great Grandma and Hannah. I don't know what you mean. Don't you know where your home is? know that yet? I just need a change. Well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I've been listening to you for over 40 years. But I had to come back. I always had to come back for Rachel. You would always look at her like she could cure cancer. Maybe I'll share. 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 Maybe I'll share.
started with me at the very, very beginning. Yes. And I appreciate all your help, too. Oh, my me. gosh. And <laughs> it's just, I'm, you know, very, I'm tired. I <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you would let us come. I was just, yeah. Any time, right. Anna, anytime. You're welcome. Are we ready? Three, two, one. All right. We're here with the star of Hannah Free, Sharon Gless, and a gal that I've known for a few years now. And been on our show a couple times already. <laughs> How many years has it been? I bet you know. Oh, 90 since 91. Whoa. Well, that's before BQT, though, so, you know, even longer than that, I it, guess. Well, it has been longer, because you yeah. were running Cagney and Lacey days. Right. In the 80s. Right. We're old friends. <laughs> yes. Anyway, sorry. Well, that's all right. On uh, with the interview. <laughs> well, I just wanted to ask you, Sharon, how did you get inspired for this movie? How did you get involved? Uh, Claudia yeah. Allen, the genius okay. who wrote this piece. Tyne Daly and I had done a, a, a um, radio show for Claudia, and then I did Cahoots. Cahoots? Here. Yeah, you did And Cahoots. I came back and I did Cahoots for her, and now this, so now this is the first time one of her films, she's written over 30 of them, has been adapted to film. And Claudia called me and asked me, she said, one of my, one of my plays is being put on film. It's an award-winning play, too. And, and I said, she said, they're putting, do you want to do it? I said, Sure. She said, well, don't you want to know which one it is? I said, no. <laughs> because she writes women so beautiful. Right. She does a good job. I know I was there for time and you that time, too, in the radio show. Yeah, we did we the did radio that. show here. Yeah. Um, so so it, it, the reason I'm here is Claudia Allen. Yeah, a little history with her. Right. <laughs> yes. And she has That's such what a... inspired me to do it. <laughs> okay, and then I just wanted to ask you uh, just briefly about the Cagney and Lacey DVD, if we could. Yeah, it's, yeah. Out, it's, it's out Tuesday? on Monday. Monday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, all the four reunions. Okay. The four reunion movies. The, right. The menopause years. The menopause years. I got the sweatshirt. That's right. Uh, <laughs> it's all coming out in one package, all four movies. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. Thank and you, uh, you want to just tell a little bit about your character from... Uh, I, I wanted to get that in about Cagney and Lacey before I forgot with my memory Thank lately. You. But um, you, you want to just uh, tell us a little bit about Hannah? Well, Hannah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Hannah. Do you want me to look at the... Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about Hannah. <laughs> Hannah Free. Um, it's a wonderful play written by Claudia Allen. Um, Hannah, it spans a love story of 60 years. Um, I have someone who plays me at 10. There's a girl who plays me at 30. She gets all the sex scenes. <laughs> <coughs> and then I play Hannah at 50 and at 80. It's at a, 80? I didn't know there was that much of a span in between the years that you played. Yeah, when I'm in oh. the wheelchair and in the thing, I'm supposed to be 80 or around that age. Oh. Um, we tried to do old age makeup, that, but I smiled and it all ended up on the floor. <laughs> it did just, so we just did liver spots and the lines and stuff and, and, and dyed my hair white. Um, but it's a love story. Uh, it spans 60 years. about uh, two women who were lesbians. Uh, Hannah was very free, thus her name about who she was, um, and her lover, Rachel, got married and hid who she was. It's now, they, 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 they are in love with each other for 60 years. Hannah keeps coming back, keeps coming back, keeps coming back. And this is the end of Rachel's life. And Hannah wants to say goodbye to her, and she's been forbidden by, her, by the family to go in and say her last goodbye. Um, it's a tearjerker, but Hannah Hannah wins. Well, I think this is so great having a movie like this. I have a daughter that's a lesbian. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't. But, uh, yeah, and I said some of the, you know, mountains they got to climb just exactly. to be what they are. Exactly. And uh, people are just so ignorant to things, And you people know? also, I mean, this is, I, I'm saying it's a bigger, I'm, maybe, I'm carrying it on to what's happening today where gays can't get married. Right. 
and they have no rights. Well, this is the same thing with Hannah over 60 years. Uh, I forget what I was going to tell you. <laughs> I do it's that about, all the it's about the It's about the ending uh, with Hannah. Oh, I do know of a couple who... The woman had a heart attack. Her partner ran her to the hospital. They would not let the partner into the room. And the, and the woman died. And this story is sort of about that. It's about... It's about having rights or no rights, right. and but love always love always rules out. So right, right. Well, and it's a good one, story, and I think it's very it important is. to get it across to people. You know, and I seen on a, a website today that President Clinton now has switched over to agreeing that they should allow gay uh, marriages. Did good you know for that? him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm glad he said it out loud. I'm sure he yeah. always felt that way. Probably, and, and he just couldn't have a choice. You exactly. Know? Yeah. If you want to get elected, that's the right. sad thing. You, there's certain things you have to keep hidden. Um, but like I believe in gays getting married. Right. Um, I believe Hillary's uh, totally behind the gays, oh, yes. too. I think so, too. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not sure of so, Obama. No, well, it, it's Who's hard it? to say because he, he might be. You know, he's, he's, he, he may be. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'll wait to right. see what this uh, new uh, um, Supreme Court justice does in her voting about Wade versus Ray, Wade. Right. So, then we'll know. Well, then we'll know where Obama stood because I'm sure he knows. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, just can't come out and, and say I'm it. I'm right a little now. nervous because she's she's a Latin and probably Catholic, uh-huh. and so I, I don't know where that's going to go. But this is part of the interview. But no. I'm just you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you. I, I love know, Bill and Hillary. I, know. I love Bill and Hillary. Yeah, see, I do too, and I always did. And I said, what he did personally, this is darn business, not ours. Yeah, you know, it's nothing. <laughs> it does nothing to they do all politics. did it. He just right. got caught. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe not Bush. Who'd want him? Oh. <laughs> but, you know. Glad to see we have the same views. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I know you're going over to England soon, too, right? To do a play, or is that going to be done no, here in the I United States? No, I already did it. It was going to be oh. done in the United States. I did the reading in England. Yeah, It's right. a British producer. The man who produced Misery. Right. For yeah. me, is producing my play here, but it's going to be in San Francisco. In San Francisco. Uh huh. Yeah, have to see when we get down. We can get down there this year. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be January, February. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Thank I always you, do it here. So, you take care. It's like yeah. old home week. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> well, you are too. So, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Appreciate it. Are you going to come to the party? Yeah, we'll be in a little bit. I went to the interviews and then we'll All right. Come in. All right.